is Hans the Ramenator coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today, what's going on there? Today, we've got one that is made in Japan, but it's made for the U.S. market. This is uh, Yamadai with their miso ramen, Japanese style ramen. Four minutes, non-fried noodle, miso, miso. Miso. Okay. Here we are. It's got a freeze-dried block. Here is our non-fried noodle. we got four minutes for this puppy. So let's fill it to the line. The line is very hard to distinguish. That's the line. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, look, look, look. See, that's what a freeze-dried block does. It just explodes. It explodes, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like explosions? I do. Well, not when it involves stuff that I have or people getting blown up, but you know, they're cool on TV. Uh, but this is the fourth one. I swear I started like not long ago. Today went by fast, especially because of the last review literally required nothing. You take the noodle and you take the seasoning, stir it up and it's done. <clears throat> so. But yeah, the uh, the political stuff is just so insane right now. I love it. I, I think it's fascinating. I won't go in. You already know what's, what's happening and stuff. Looks like you're in 2024 already. Um, yeah, I wonder how that, how's that going? Hopefully well. Um, hopefully nobody's being ridiculous and crazy and causing harm or Hopefully there's a... Uh, nobody has an itchy nose. That would be... That'd be great. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, these blocks, they just kind of explode and you've got like all this vegetable just floating around now. Kind of wiggle apart the noodle. just to be kind to it. The one thing I really wish, and I hope the people over at Yamadai are listening to, and I doubt they are, but if they are, I really wish you could post the milliliters on the side of these bowls, because they don't generally do that in the US, and I understand, but it's really helpful to me. I mean, if, if this thing said it required 400 mils of water, I would have already cut this up, done a scan of the bowl, and been good. Granted, most people aren't, you know, worried about such things, but it's nice. But yeah, usually Japanese instant noodles list the amount of liquid that goes in. This doesn't say it in cups or in milliliters. So that'd be nice. I would think that it would be nice to have that as an absolute standard for across the board for the instant noodle industry. Just this, list the amount of liquid. Granted, in a lot of times, there's no room for anything on packaging. There's probably a font size that's required, like you can't go below this size lettering. Um, there's a lot of regulations, this makes it so it's accessible for everybody, as far as ingredient info, cooking info, this and that. One thing I would like too, while I'm making my, my demands known, don't do black text on dark red. Also, don't have a light blue background with slightly lighter blue text on it. Come on. That's, that's, I'm glad you have the ability to see such things. A lot of us don't. So, just saying. But we're about to have the girls gone wild music in just a moment. That's a new thing. 
five, four, three, two. Hey, everybody, let's have some cheese. Okay. Now we're going to add in this. There's other ones, too. There's da 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 Oh, I'm not going to give it away. I'll, I'll do different ones. Yeah, I was worried that it would, like, trip the, uh, DMCA, so to say, like, this has music that's copyrighted. It's like, really? But I'm, I guess we'll find out. If it does that, I'll stop doing this. I mean, I don't make a ton of money off of YouTube, as I'm sure you know if you are a content creator with YouTube. Yeah, I really don't. I mean, maybe like 40 to 80 bucks a month. That's pretty sad for almost being at 2,000 episodes. What's wrong? I, I put so much content out there. Maybe if I had, oh, I don't know, instead of 20,000 sub subs, if I had like 200,000, that, that would be nice. Two million? Holy crap. But. I guess people just don't like me enough, so that's fine with me. I don't like them either, but I don't know. I think I'm likable. My wife seems to enjoy my presence. My, my kids haven't run away, so. <clears throat> I guess I could do the pay to play. I really don't want to pay for boosts and all that crap. Noodle. Hmm. Same noodle as in the shoyu variety, which was good. Here, let's get some more of that. You know what I'm not seeing in here, which kind of surprised me, is corn. I'm seeing more of a, it looks like cabbage. The thickness of the broth is pretty good. The veg is a little played out, a little soggy, but it's not bad. It relies a lot on red miso, which generally isn't my favorite, but this one's all right. Yeah, this is a decent bowl of miso ramen. A good, a good one that I would think would be pretty accessible if, you, if you're thinking, I'm going to have a bowl of miso ramen and you're a Westerner, this is probably about what you're going to expect you get out of a Japanese instant noodle bowl. So this, is, this fits all, it, 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 it does it. You know what term I absolutely hate? And I don't know where it came from and I think it just sounds, anybody who says it, I've never heard anybody actually say it in IRL, in real life, but, uh, wow, that's good. That really slaps. Like, what are you slapping? I don't, I don't understand. Right. Fresh Chashu made it the other day. Really good chashu, I gotta say. I am tooting my horn. I'm tooting my stinky horn. Actually, my horn doesn't sink, and I don't actually have a horn, so don't worry about it. The knife of truth. Hopefully, this egg looks nice. I've been having really good luck with eggs. Hopefully that is a continuation here today.
really badly though. That's fine. And we got some Narita Mackey. But yeah, it's weird because it's hot. We're in a heat heat advisory, heat warning. And I know you guys might be dealing with like winter weather advisories. <laughs> that's 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 the that's the crazy crazy, isn't it? What's what's neat though is I like to get out and I if you watch the show a lot, you'd know this. If you don't, I'll tell you. I, I like I walk a lot. I lost a ton of weight walking. And uh it's neat to see all the seasons. Here in uh, Western Washington, we really get the everything. Shichimi. And some sesame seed. So yeah. If you can, and it's not gonna make you die, go outside, it's nice. I know it's cold. Stop complaining, just go outside. <sighs> Freaking lazy people. It's cold, I'm gonna be too cold. Oh, Papa Smurf. <laughs> yeah, you'll live. Well, yeah, you should be able to find this somewhere. I mean, it's for export to the U.S., uh, which means it must be veg no. It might have fish in it, but it's not gonna have chicken or stuff. So, the Japanese version would. So, but yeah, not bad, me so. Yeah. All right. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your new year, your noodles, and all of the above. Have a good one and bye bye.